ladies and gentlemen, here we are. <laughs> Welcome to this stream. I have prepared with some monster. Cheers. And I also have some tea for uh, this occasion, you know. Uh, we need some... Uh, it's supposed to be some drama today, so uh, we need the tea. So I'm gonna be <laughs> overhyped. I'm super hyped. I'm, it's like, it feels like I'm going on a concert, you know, like, like I'm gonna play on a concert, and I'm just gonna <laughs> not play, I'm gonna talk, I'm just gonna talk this stream, you know. Look, I have prepared, look at all, all the tabs, <laughs> we are in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think of my song? I wrote this just for you guys. I think it suits Ken pretty good. Well, thank you. Thank you. Here we are. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You don't need to. Thank you. You don't need to applaud more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. I think we are done. No, we are not. I haven't even started yet, and you're giving me this much applause. Thank you. <laughs> so, we shall begin from the beginning of this adventure. <laughs> Look at these tabs. Wait, mm, you have to see it. Look. Look, we have a lot to go through this evening. Let's <laughs> start with the first clip. I think Mark Ajax was the first one who that was supposed to call out <laughs> Ken Damplin. This was released in September 6th, 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 can't pronounce that, because I thought it was Wings of Pegasus, but it's not. He put it out 15. So I think we, we will start with Mark <laughs> and then keep on going from there. Can you guys do that? I thought you couldn't. You can't. It's just Ken who can. Okay, so you can't send a cease and desist to intimidate me. Imagine if Ken opinion, watched this. That's not gonna work Maybe anyway. Maybe Because who knows? it's my opinion slash. <laughs> Back in tracks is common. Back in tracks is common. If you Back repeat it enough, enough, maybe they'll believe you. Hello, dear! I can't believe that this was the first one, you know? Hiding his neck because he doesn't want us to see how much he's training because he's literally <laughs> written a comment under that video talking about how singing does require stress <laughs> Or just plainly hiding his mouth throughout the entire cover so it's even more easy to lip sync like I've, I've caught This was I thought it was going to get a little bit more aggressive at the start, but it, he didn't <laughs> <laughs> you were not that aggressive, you know, on the first video. It, ge it gets worse. Some moment, but when he has to sing those high notes, he can't. I mean, why give you listen? Can. It's because you can't. Can. <laughs> and now if Look we add at that, that to the theory that it's obvious, by the way, but it's just my opinion. Oh, now he just talks know, about M2 himself and, and his and not course, I think. So we need to move on. Well, guys, I cannot believe what I'm saying, check in the comments and... Yeah, that's one thing as well, he removes all the bad comments. <laughs> Ken, if you go into his videos, you can only say positive comments, so I'm guessing that he removes comments. It's a very interesting one. With all the bashing for anyone that actually knows Ken, or the shout material, there uh, that's his band. There is not one note that I hear that is the same as any of his records. So he's yeah, saying it's not what saying. He had an other account live. that all the notes he, are different. he tried and to uh, here we make get a people very think smart reply that someone saying was... Uh, I think we're gonna look at Pegasus. On the agenda tonight, here. we're gonna be analyzing three performances from vocal coach Ken Tamplin. We're <laughs> looking at can be found in the description below if you want to check them out independently. Yeah. But this was <laughs> uploaded to Ken's channel in 2009. Mm. So 2009. 15. Uh, Where were you 2009? You guys out there. <laughs> I were in high school. Is it high school? Uh, when you're like 15? Is it high school? I can't, I, I don't know. In years ago, this comes from. Okay, welcome. Can you hear that? 
It's it's that uh, VHS uh, high uh, sound, <laughs> you know. From? Okay, welcome back to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy .com. Uh, I'm going to do another song demonstration. In fact, I'm going to do a series of these of different styles, so I can show uh, different singers how to approach uh, different styles. I wonder if this is if he recorded this in 09 or or if he recorded it before, because I've seen on his channel now, uh, like here. <laughs> yeah, we have his channel. Uh, this one, the first, the one he posted yesterday, that's an old video, you know, from his old studio. This is an old one, and you can see it, he's younger, you know. <laughs> and this is an old one. Uh, this one, the um, Jimmy Page guitar lick tutorial. A lot of them are old ones, you know, with the guitar. The new ones are the covers, you know. Uh, Judas Priest, Bon Jovi, those ones. But that's pretty random. I wonder if he re-uploads them or if he have them stored and then he just uploads them. I don't know. Stop looking for a singer. No. That singer. He re-uploaded it. I thought it because he removed it for a while when I did my video. He removed this one for a while, but it's up again. Song, so. so this one I think was the video who kicked it off, you know, with Wings of Pegasus 15th of September. <laughs> so here it all went downhill, you know. I made a little track here, um, and I'll talk a little bit more about it after I'm done, but uh, it goes like this. It's weird because it sings the first part, and then it sings. That one he sings, but it's weird. And that's the weird part, you know, he can sing. So <laughs> that's, that's really weird. He knows how to sing, and I guess he knows how to play guitar as well, because... Um, when I tried to uh, look when he was playing and take his stuff and play stuff, his fingers were at the right place, but <laughs> he, he could, it's no way he could have played it that clean. So maybe like um, he recorded it note for note or like uh, 30 years ago, I don't know. Okay, so first of all, what I am going to mention is I've got reference speakers here, uh, which means that you hear the audio very clearly. And in this first performance, it seems like we definitely had a live vocal, this part here. That, that's definitely live. This one, you can tell that he's that's in the room. <laughs> no. And then it seems like he goes out of sync, like he comes in a little bit too... Yeah, he comes in too... I wonder why he does it, and, and then claims that it's not lip sync. It's pretty weird. <laughs> you know, he, he of all people should know that it, it's not lip sync. You know, you know, he knows it, and he still just <laughs> neglected it. It's, 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 yeah. Too early, you can see that his voice... There you go. That was it. So he's already <laughs> said the first phrase, but obviously me hearing the difference with reference speakers, you're not necessarily going to be able to hear that. But I'm mm. if you're, if you're, you can say like this, if you're a musician, it's really easy to, to know when people don't do it live. It's, it, it, same with guitar and drums and everything. There were a guy who got called out like the other day when he played drums because he put on some... Uh, uh, trig triggers, you know, on the snare and stuff <laughs> when he didn't play it. You could see it. He didn't play it, but it was like Prrr. So, uh, uh, I don't know who they f are fooling. Maybe fooling regular people, but you know um, Yeah, I don't know <laughs> I'm gonna let this play through so you can see what I'm talking about with the performance So, and then we did the last thing live as well the live vocal comes in at the end. So that I think that was Ken right at the end there. It's changed ever so slightly. I don't know whether you're going to be able to spot it as well. What I might try and do is grab the isolated vocal because then it might be a little bit... I so yeah, the... Hmm. Yeah, yeah. That part. Yeah. So now they I guess he does it because he can't uh, do it the ho for one whole song. He, his voice doesn't hold up one whole song. It has to be 
why he <laughs> lip sync and it, then he, he comes in sometimes and when it's a little bit lower he can't do the high parts maybe I don't know this yeah yeah we're now in the room again whereas it sounds like before we, we're really quiet <laughs> Sure, why not? <laughs> I have an old instrumental track here. Uh, I'll fire this it up one and is... see it and just see how oh. it goes. Here we go. And some of you guys said that I need to get the shirts like this, you know, with <laughs> the bling shirts. But I don't have any. I don't know what to do. I need to go to like the thrift, thrift store and, and get one. Or a couple. Yeah! And that one has been me even... <laughs> I love this uh, that lick, but but at least he sings, you know. Just see how it goes. Here we go. Yeah. There we go. This is so weird. <laughs> and you know he removed this video, so he knows it. You know when he gets critiqued, critique. This wouldn't happen if he just owned up to it and said, yeah, I lip synced. Uh, my voice doesn't hold up or what the excuse, excuse is. I don't know what the excuse is, but but you know, yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. It wouldn't have blown up if he just said yeah, I'm singing this and I'm not singing that or what, uh, you know. <laughs> but it, it, it's, you know, it's, it, it, he sings really good here, but then again, this is like 30 years ago when he recorded this, but... <laughs> I don't know why they do this and, and think that people will will um, fall for it. I think at the end isn't like the voice is fading out as well. Yeah, the, <laughs> and he closed them out. <laughs> Wings of Pegasus talking about this particular live stream. I got quite a few requests for... It's like saying, like, I have a live stream and I'm gonna play guitar. And... and <laughs> But no, you can't you can't have it like that, you know. <laughs> That's really me playing. <laughs> yes, you know it says that well. That's really me singing. For this. And here's the proof. Yeah! It's Ken, could you do a live stream of some of your older original music? And I thought <laughs> Sure, why not? <laughs> sure. <laughs> That was definitely a live vocal. Okay, right. Well, the first, I've got to point out, the first thing is, he's not playing the guitar. We just heard him strike a chord, and he's so close to this microphone, if he were playing the guitar, you would hear this in the mix. I guess that he, he didn't actually strum it, because I don't know if he had, maybe he had a sound guy, you know, or if, well, yeah, it was live streamed. At least he claims it. So, then... There are two options. He had a sound guy that just uh, took the volume down on the microphone or he just didn't hit the strings and he didn't uh, even, you know, sing with the falsetto or anything. He just uh, mimed. That's the two options here. Yeah, that's probably the right thing, you know, uh, that it doesn't hit the string and it doesn't sing, sing uh, with low volume. That has to be the most, uh, let's say, most uh, reasonable answer. Life as it comes. Okay, and now, again, I've got reference speakers. The vocal sound has totally changed. <laughs> I mean, this couldn't be more different from the vocal that he just did at the beginning. Let me just see if we can grab this isolated vocal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely live. So what I want you to listen out for is how dry this vocal is. And that's the thing as well, because like this, I sit like this close to the mic, so I'm not going to get a lot of room sound, but he sits a bit further away and he has a big room, you know, a studio room. So it's going to get room sound. And when you record, that's uh, usually not uh, the thing you do, especially with vocals. You, you stand pretty close to the microphone and you don't have a lot of room sound because you want to add that afterwards in post uh, <laughs> most of the time. So, uh, you know, yeah, then again, who is he fooling? And I'm just going to take this back because Ken has said, you know, let's see how it goes. Goes off, starts the backing track, and... Yeah! 
and we're listening to the isolated vocal now he sat down and he's given us an example of what his voice sounds like in front of the microphone now when the song starts i'm taking life as it comes all of the keys are holding on Hopefully you can hear that there's now, I mean, a totally different sound to his vocal. Mm. It's now quite nicely. And, you know, it's EQ'd, it's uh, compressed, it's uh, reverb, it's delay, it's uh, pitched, and so on and so on. You know, limited, pro probably, you know. He rounded from an EQ perspective. And maybe, you know, dub doubled and uh, widener. You know, when you have, you can have a widener on the voice as well. But also there's this delay like a kickback delay it happens really quickly but you might be able to listen if you if you hear care or listen carefully that there's now definite it's a wetter sound but nothing has happened since when we start from when we started look or he is super <laughs> technical you know so he has one guy in the background that just boom when they recorded he just trrrt, and fixed everything for him <laughs> who am i to blame i don't know maybe that's the case Ken, please come forward and uh, <laughs> and address this. Yeah, don't really care what people say. So there's no explanation for that. How the vocal can suddenly change. And another thing, he doesn't sound like the first the first thing fi thing he sang. Then he sounds older, you know. He sounds like himself, but. Then when the singing comes in, he sounds younger, you know, it sounds more not at, as old. <laughs> so <laughs> that's uh, one um, giveaway as well. The vocal fades out. <laughs> and if you, you know, you can't fade out your vocal. I mean, this is fading. This could be actually be and not impossible on guitar. You can fade out the guitar. So that's actually possible. That's actually me playing. This is not a lip synced stream. This is not a backing track stream. Yeah, it's, it is a backing track st stream. Listen to this. If you weren't here at the beginning, then you can listen to this lovely music. You know, this is just some um, some key music, you know. I'm really proud of this. You need to put on your critical hat. You need to put, I have my critical hat. Actually. <laughs> Oh, and he's closed his mouth, but his voice continues. Yeah, I noticed that. Then again, if you had a really great sound guy, he can put on all those effects, and then he can fade it out via the mix <laughs> mixing table, you know. So, please, Ken, tell us how you did it. I have an old instrumental track here. Uh, I'll fire I mean, it's so... <laughs> I fire it up and see how it goes. I'm gonna start doing that, you know, playback. Uh, I usually try, you know, to do it in one take. When I do stuff like guitar solos and stuff, I usually practice it, and then when I do the take, that's the one take. And sometimes I edit it, uh, like if it is a good take and I do like one wrong note or something, I edit it, you know. And um, But I don't claim that it's live. <laughs> it's it's not a thing. If I would have claimed everything is live, I do all the drums live on the keyboard, I do all the uh, keys live. Uh, then it's another deal, you know. It's, and with the singing as well, because when I sing, I do ten thousand takes because I suck at it. <laughs> so, uh, and then you know, it's not, it's no, no problem if you say that if it's, um, if you don't lie, you know. <laughs> you try because everybody does it. Um, not everybody, but a lot of us do. We pitch the vocals, we, we um, fix little imperfections and everything, and that's okay. That's the music industry in a nutshell, so it's no nothing wrong with that, I think. 
I don't know, some people would say it's maybe a bit cringy to say, I'll fire it up and let's see how it goes. Knowing that he's going to be miming, he knows it's going to be absolutely pitch perfect <laughs> and a perfect performance, even with the fade out at the end. We've got the footage from the back. of the And I, I don't even know why you, why you need to prove this at this level, because it's, it's uh, obvious, you know. But it's good that people do, because then it's uh, black and white, you know, it's printed in and you really you can't uh, you can't crawl your way out of it so to speak as we work our way through it we look out for any echoes what i call them in other videos where you have things that look similar on one side to the other side so what i'm going to do now is probably make it bigger on screen so you guys can see more clearly so i've also got rid of the background so you guys can see it a little bit more clearly nothing should match up here especially given the ambient noise we've got going on but if we're looking at this section certainly this mm. looks very very close indeed and if we start to kind of move it's things up over. over the top of the other you'll see how we're starting to line up and i can probably get this a little bit closer this is definitely something that is indicative of the same audio especially when we start lining up this closely just look at it and probably the imperfections here is when he mimed you know because he sang and then he said with that volume you know and that the 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 mic is picking that up because you can hear that when he, you know the famous one at the end of the song <laughs> you know when when the backing track breaks you can still hear his voice so he's miming with the falsetto with the falsetto so this is pro the, the imperfections here can be the falsetto but I'm not sure. It can be an ambience. Well, I don't know. This peak here happened at exactly the same one hundredth of a second as the live stream audio, the live stream performance. And you can see that this peak matches up as well. It's happening at precisely the same. You know, I think that is even more a dead giveaway because then it's going to you're gonna hear it even more but because this is live vocal and the guy in the mixing table he don't have all the stuff or maybe he has i don't know but probably not all the stuff that i have in the studio and then then again it's really hard to to match these vocals you know the pre-recorded one that we recorded for 25 years ago i don't know and then the live vocal that they record in the moment it's really hard to get them to uh, a line especially when ken's voice has changed over the years as it does it's not <laughs> so you know um if it were me i would um, i would probably just lip sync everything and then <laughs> and then just uh, you know when they introduce the band and everything then i can talk but i think it's almost smarter to lip sync everything because then it's harder to tell if they do it or not you can you can if you use this kind of program it's easy but you know harder when you're on if you're there in the um, audience you know it's the same as the other video really. but i will not do that or maybe i don't know maybe in uh, 20 years who knows years a dry mic but then when the backing track section comes in where he's miming We've now got this delay on the sound <laughs> because it is the same vocal that he used in that live stream. So it's still got that, you know. And that's, you know, oh, because you can actually do this a little bit less um, obvious because in the studio, you usually do a lot of takes and especially back in the day, you know, because then they can rent a studio for a couple of months. Now you have a lot more pressure, you know, you need to be done in like one day or something or it's easier now because you can be record at home but if we say you, you go into a studio you know it's so expensive so you can't do it but back in the day the labels were paying the artists so they can stay there for half a year or a couple of months so i guess there are a lot of vocal takes on this particular song and if you have been smarter <laughs> this is one thing i should have done i should do you know, he, he, he should have saved, maybe he has saved all the takes because then he can take different takes, you know, for different performances. So he has like a catalog of 10 takes, you know, that's different because then he would get away with it. This is actually pretty smart. This is revolu revolution, revolutionary. <laughs> Ken, please, do you need this? You need to take this to accountability. You need to try this out. 
what do you think? I think that this was really smart, actually. Um, so, recap of what I just said. Take, like, mix 10 different takes and then bring them in at different places. So if he does, like, a tour, then if he plays on, on uh, 15 different places, he can just uh, <laughs> pick and choose, you know, and people can't uh, call his bullshit because um, it's going to be different every night. Wait, wait, wait. Thank you, thank you. I hope you're taking notes, Ken. We have cracked the code, ladies and gentlemen. You're too kind. You are too kind. You don't need to be doing this. Thank you. Okay, let's destroy this song, shall we? You know, I got that Ken Tampin technique, you know? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You are too kind. Enough with the um, memes. Let's keep on going. Don't really care what people say. No way. No way. No way. Going out from my way. So that is, is Ken's live mic. Dry. There's no delay or anything on there. Listen on. Yeah. And now the backing track kicks in. And I mean, if you listen carefully, you'll see that at the end of his vocal phrase, when he's actually singing, <laughs> this comment. And listen out for that Look at delay. This. And now. That was live again, back into the live vocal for the lower parts. And delay comes in now for these higher parts. <laughs> this one, you know. <sighs> but anyway, there we have it. I mean, it might be quite a long video for tonight, but... There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was the one who kicked things off. It's only at the 170,000 views. I thought it was more. But you know, Roxas, are you watching? I hope you are because I love your videos. They are. You <laughs> you're taking stuff to the next level. This is great because this, this is so um, obvious a satire, so it's easy to take in. You can, it, it's like. Some of my stuff can be maybe too dry humor, you know, so it's uh, maybe people think I'm serious, but, um, and, you know, nothing, I have nothing against Ken. I have nothing against these people, but the thing I have something against it is when they try to pr portray themselves and, and, you know, he's selling stuff and uh, selling people something that isn't real, you know, <laughs> because uh, his motto is... Um, the proof is in the singing. Your uh, see, you your vocal coach needs to sing to learn sing and singing. You know? And he can sing, but can he do the things he says? You know, uh, <laughs> sing the whole tour or sing the whole song and and so on. I think not. And that is where we have a problem. Houston, we got a problem, a big problem, because there. Is, I don't know, it's like fraud, you know? I don't know if you can get uh, sued or anything, or if you can get some legal actions against you, because, um, yeah, it doesn't, um, it's not right. <laughs> so that is why um, this doesn't fly, you know? If he had just come clean, I said that before in stream, if he just come clean, it wouldn't have been a problem. But, um, name uh, and see 40 records that I've had out. Do, do we have 
let's see here. Ken Tamplin. How many records? You know, this one's Rock of the 80s. That's just a collected album, I guess. Different artists and stuff. I guess this is not on Spotify. Let me have a quick look. I don't think you can see it, but this picture, I love this picture. Uh, this one. <laughs> can you see it? I hope you can. You know, up, uh, up with where my head is. Because I photoshopped that picture and photoshopped out the guitar and put Put him on a chair instead. <laughs> so he looks like a toddler. I really like it. Maybe he includes this ones as well. The, he has karaoke albums on Spotify. Maybe he includes this ones. You know, Ken Tamplin karaoke, karaoke, karaoke. But this is all, you know, he, I thought you had... Maybe, wait, wait, wait. Here we have Ken Tamplin, Ballads of Ken Tamplin, Volume 1, 2014. But... He doesn't have an album from 2014, at least in, on Spotify, but, you know, he could have it on other platforms. I don't know. What is this? Is it, is it like his band? Okay, it's his covers. It's, it has to be his covers. Got you covered, okay. <laughs> oh, it took me a second, you know. It got me covered, okay. So, it is, it's his covers. And who does the backing tracks for uh, Ken Tamplin? It, it can it can't be Ken himself, or can it? I don't know. Because some of them sound, most of them, I should not lie, they sound pretty good. And, and you know, they see everything sounds good. So then again, I'm not, I'm not blaming. I'm not <laughs> saying Ken is bad. I'm saying he does questionable stuff. Got you covered, got you covered. Oh, okay, this is just um, Christian stuff. How great the art. Okay, and that's just covers as well. Ken Taplin's Christmas. <laughs> and that's also covers. Silent Night. Or Holy Night. I hope this stream doesn't get taken down now. <laughs> Here he should have used a little bit of pitch, I think. He is quite flat here. <laughs> that's, that's really weird. Uh, I think when people do music, you know, especially singers, they should hear when they are flat but or sharp, but it doesn't matter. Sometimes it's really nice. You know, I heard some guy, he pitched uh, uh, Led Zeppelin. Was it uh, Black Dog or something? And it sounded awful, you know. So... A lot, you know, some some stuff is great to to pitch a little bit, but sometimes it's not great. But this one, I think he could just um, maybe take another take, you know, because um, I don't think this sounds particularly good. You know, <laughs> you can hate me for it, but but uh, let's take another listen. Even you know, because it's so this song is very delicate, you know, so. But uh, then again, people may like it. I don't know. I think it was a little bit too off for my taste. Divine, oh. What was that background vocal? Divine, oh. That was pretty weird. Not gonna lie. Oh, yeah, not, no, no, I have nothing to say. We were at 2011. There we have it. Ken Tamplin Christmas. It should be Ken Tamplin's Christmas. That would be better. Yeah, here it is. Is it nine? I thought it was in the 80s. 1990. Because he has re the real 80s look. It's the end. One, two, three. You know, he done one, one in 1990, 1991. And 2011. Where are the other ones? Where are the other ones? Maybe it's Shouten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not buying it. So two solo albums with original music, I guess. And then nothing more. So, and then it's covers. Just covers. Just covers. It's nothing wrong with covers, but... Um, mm, I'm not buying it. I actually thought it was a little bit older. Like, maybe same as my dad. I think he uh, has the same birthday as Yngve. Marmsten, my fellow Swede. Yeah, 63. But he's a little bit older. Some, a couple of months. Uh, okay, so he's as old as Yngve. 
That's good to know. <laughs> I totally missed this. I totally missed this. Look, look what we have. Can you see it? Can you see it? Lip syncing controversy. He can't be happy about this. He can't be happy about this. Who did this? Who did this? Please come forth. I want to know who wrote this. Or is it like uh, before? Because I knew when I was younger you could put in stuff by yourself on Wikipedia. But I don't know if you can do that now. Yeah, but this is crazy. Lip sync controversy. On his Wikipedia page. <laughs> He's probably furious. Shut up! release the fucking fury! <laughs> when your Wikipedia turns against you, you know you're done. you done it bad. I absolutely love this video. This is the holy grail. Just tell me to download it because I need any I maybe he, he will he will take it down, you know. Uh, who knows? Hey everybody, Ken Tamplin from Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy where the proof is in the singing. Some of you may not know that I just did a live performance with my band's Shout and Tamplin this past August in Ohio. And frankly, I think we killed it. Uh, maybe we killed it so good that we actually had people coming to me and saying, we think you lip synced the show. And it's funny because we had a gob of KTBA advocates rushing to my rescue to go line by line to prove how different the live performance was from the studio recordings. In fact, one guy actually said that he um, identified over a hundred places in a 70 minute This only proves that we are right. A hundred places in a... In a 70 minute set. Yeah, in a 70 minute set, a hundred places, you know. This is um, <laughs> not a robbery, this is... This is... Um, yeah, it's, it's laughable. And I, li I like that it has uh, started to do the small... Um, the small... Uh, with the text, you know. It's like he's uh, quoting himself. He has done that on a couple of recent ones as well. Wait, have you noticed anything weird here? Wait, I'm gonna put it on full screen. Look at his hair and his face. Please tell me that you have noticed it. He has put on like a um, two-pass AI um, like video enhancer because I have used these ones and I know how they work. Um, so he's smoothing out the skin and, and this one has um, like on the hair as well. I don't think he was supposed to do the hair. But uh, he has definitely done something with the video here. Because this does not look uh, normal. As a singer of 30 years and 40 records out and... I'm 99% sure of this. Close to a thousand songs. Yeah, here we have note, you know. <laughs> We're note... Placed in film and TV a lot of stuff he says, does it does it. for 30 years. I want to... Look at this. Really good diaphragmatic support. I wonder if he does this himself or someone else. Support. If you don't know what that means... Yeah. I just wanted to point that out. It's pretty... A little bit weird, actually, but it's funny. ...of how different the live performance was compared to studio performances. Now, unfortunately, these websites decided to go ahead and delete everybody's comments because it didn't sell the narrative that they wanted to get... But here, I, I don't think he uses one. Maybe. More views, more clicks. No. Maybe because I can see the hair, you know, the hair closest to the face. It, it doesn't really look... When it bounces, you know. That they wanted to get more views, more clicks. Not only maybe, but but maybe not. This is this is a lot harder, but it can be just uh, normal. These comments because it didn't sell the narrative that they wanted to get more views, more clicks. Now let me explain this. I actually use this <laughs> to get more views and more clicks, you know, with the exposed. Lord. That's because social media has become one giant tabloid magazine. You know, fraud, exposed, <laughs> it's over. <Lord. laughs> I like that one. It's... But you used backing tracks. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I did use backing tracks. Like a lot of bands use it. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But let me do a quick Google search. <laughs> I like that. That he says we're gonna get to that in a minute, and then straight away it gets to to the point. No, that's great, Ken. I just did. This is a short list of who either has used backing tracks or are currently using backing tracks. Are you ready? Check this out: Pink Floyd, Motley Crue, Def Leppard, Kiss. 
Shine Down, Nightwish, anything. U2, Dream Theater, Coldplay, Van Halen, The Who, Paul McCartney, Rolling Stones, Aerosmith, even Pavarotti. I mean, crazy stuff. I could go on and on and with You know, with pa Pavarotti, you know, um, <laughs> he doesn't lip sync, but sure. I think I'm in pretty good company because it's a lot more practical to do that now. We must become we critical thinkers. This goes far beyond all of the political ad campaigns do our thinking for us. I mean, this is endless. It's, it's pretty much all media now. Uh, it feels like it's like trying to gaslight you. <laughs> but I don't know. Hey, I think pretty much all of true, genuine um, investigative reporting or journalism has just gone in the toilet. In fact, we have over 18 hundred videos out there. I'd love to see other people come up to the table and see what- <laughs> I like that he is. <laughs> like, I like to see other people do this. It's, I don't know, it's, uh, it's uh, pretty defensive. But I will say this for all of the lip sync accusers out there. Hey! Now, it's not like I can pull Jimmy Even a Cricket. You need to put on your critical hat Put the two shows side by side and evaluate it yourself. Fluffy, get off the railroad track! Toured the world for 30 some odd years. 30 years. When did he tour then? I was, he was 60. Yeah, he had to start in the 80s then. But you know... Mm. I want proof. Please, give me some proof. I just wanted to be one of the greatest guitar players in the world. And at one point, maybe in my first symphony, maybe you thought I, I achieved a certain level. I love that statement. You, some people achieved a certain level of that. Guitar players. I would lo love to have Ken's um, self-esteem. You can hear this actually happen where he raises the pitch a little bit, but not very much. Check it out. I don't say agreed. The only God I need is the ace of spades. The ace of spades. Okay. Now he's not using very much diaphragmatic, but the only God I need is the ace of spades. The ace of spades. Right? <laughs> he's a lot. He doesn't do it right either, you know. Too high. Too high on the note. Because Lemme was not that high on the note. Spades. The ace of spades. Okay, now he's not using very much diaphragmatic, but the only guy I need is the ace of spades! The ace of spades! Right. It's kind of all he's got, really. It's all the same to me! So, right, it's kind of funky. It's not real perfect like that. Not saying I'm perfect, but you know what I'm saying? It's a hard thing critiquing, you know, these kinds of people because some people can't critique. Like, <laughs> it's hard to critique uh, Freddie Mercury, you know. You're gonna get shit even whatever you say. So, so just uh, some <laughs> sometimes you just need to le leave it be, you know. Real sensitive on the album and not so much your life. It's a little bit like a politician, you know. He talks and sometimes you just, what did he just say? <laughs> <laughs> it's like talking around. 40 records. Look, this is the shirt we were talking about earlier. I need to get one of those. Oh. Racist stuff. But I have been sent this a lot and I have seen other YouTube channels focusing on this footage. This was a video that was uploaded. But, but then removed, and then Ken uploaded another version of the live performance. But have a listen to this. You can clearly hear clip. that his voice cuts out there, unfortunately. And he gives the mic a bit of a shake. You know, but that's what happens with live vocals. You know, that kind of thing can happen. But anyway, we'll go to the upload at the same point of This is a burn ripoff, you know, Deep Purple burn You know what's standing on what's And you can now hear And you know the amount of work he do to put that in he probably fixed a lot of more stuff when he uploaded it on his channel, but... Yeah, that part of the performance 
is now, I mean, clearly overdubbed. Interestingly, he's still kind of shaking the mic, and he goes on to say that his mic cut out or something. Thank you. Something. One sec, one sec. Something cut, cut out on me here. Yeah! It's working now. I mean, there's <laughs> no explanation for this really why, with somebody filming it from the front of the stage, you can hear his voice give up and he doesn't get the note. And then with the new upload. You need to put on your critical hat. I like that all of us, you know, who, who, who talks about this, me included, you know, we notice the same things. You know? And then they are probably the same things that everybody else is noticing, you know, uh, because we are critical thinkers and we have our critical hat on. Yeah! If I did that, it doesn't make what I'm saying any more valid or any less valid. So if there's one thing that I definitely do know, it's playing the guitar. Legend. That's a really As nice a ending though, it's uh, okay, you know, a queen so style ending. That solo that we heard, I mean, first of all, you don't look at the camera and go and, and make a face as if it's really difficult because... Ken's defense here, you can do it um, and some people do, so uh, that's not uh, really a, a giveaway, but uh, you are in my opinion. He's not actually playing what we're hearing. Like I said, I've been doing this a long time, so I spot everything even slightly out of sequence vibrato, because <laughs> that's always a giveaway. And another thing that's a giveaway are bends. So when we get to this last section, what I want you to do is watch Ken's hand and listen, because when Ken moves his hand, the note he's playing continues to ring out. Have a listen. I've also decreased it by 50% speed. So there, he's made a whole shift with his hand, but the bend continues. Legend. Because you can see that he plays, you know, because he plays on the there, right uh, we have this. Uh, strings and everything. But, uh, and so he should be able to play it himself, I guess, You can hear, oh, you know, it's quite wide all the time, and sometimes he kind of goes into this, uh, which won't give you any kind of dramatic vibrato. But anyway, this... He kind of bends his finger and you can see quite clearly again somehow with I don't know maybe a ghost is fretting the note. <laughs> maybe a ghost is fretting. So yeah I'll just play that for you in slow motion even though at full speed you can still see that he's not on that note. And even worse he goes He has delay. Come on give him a break. There's a bend. So He's not playing this solo. Because you can see he plays it. Uh, so he, probably he has recorded this solo at some point. But then why he... <laughs> I can't wrap my head around this. And again, slightly out of sequence vibrato there. Didn't do the vibrato. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, just for reference, ladies and gentlemen, Ken has just played a note that he doesn't have on his fretboard. And we're going, na, 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 na. You can probably bend it that far, but uh, it would break. Maybe, maybe I don't know. I, w <laughs> I will not try it. He's going even higher than that. And he's not using, you know, a Floyd Rose pulling up on that in order to get the pitch. Okay, let's go to the lawsuit. I'm David DiMuzio, and, and what he was one of the only vocal coaches on YouTube doing anything, uh, you know, of substance, really. There just weren't near... Yeah, maybe that's... But I've seen somewhere that he bought his... Um, <laughs> his followers. Let's me see. Yeah, here. You can see. Zero subscribers, and then they ha he has a spike on 10 thousand this may be the proof that he buys his subscribers and nothing wrong with that if you want to <laughs> pay money for that it's okay you know yeah you can see even even more yeah <laughs> just look at it you know ten thousand zero ten thousand zero ten thousand and so on and this is just one year no it's not your one year it's 
it's over two years. Yeah, so this is <laughs> this is a bit crazy, you know. Uh, maybe he bought views as well, if you can see this. I I, I don't know. I, I don't have an answer for this, but, but he probably does because he doesn't have a lot of uh, watchers when he do, does his uh, his own things at least when peop other people seeing it can have uh, quite a lot of views but you know this one he has 1.2 uh, million um, people who are subscribed subscribed and he has 8 8k 9k 6k 11k 5k and so on 5k 13k you know it's not uh, comparable by the amount of subscribers he has so i think he has bought some he has to be, have been bought some, I don't know. You tell me, you tell me what you think. I made a video and I titled my video, how to sing better than anyone else possible. That's what possible question mark. And now um, I uploaded this video to my YouTube channel and on my YouTube channel, David DiMuzio lessons, I've often taught, you know, I've taught uh, different singing lessons and things that are helpful for me. I always, you know, mention it that way that it's, this has been helpful for me. So maybe it's gonna be helpful for you. So since I was studying what Ken was teaching, I wanted to share what I felt had been helpful or not helpful in this program that I've been doing for close to two years. He did the program for two years. Is it a one time purchase or is, <laughs> what is this USB drive? Cool, awesome, crazy shit. What's in volume two? Okay, so I guess you can buy. Yeah, I don't know. I so I got a copyright strike on my video, and imagine if I get copyright strike on my YouTube. <laughs> I I have been waiting for the lawyer lawyer email, but I haven't gotten it yet. Maybe I'm just uh, one in many, so he can't send them to everyone. Maybe you can. I don't know. Ken can. Copyrighted trademark name. How to sing better than anyone else. I don't know if you can uh, copyright. If you can, you, you know, I can say IKEA without getting copyright. So <laughs> I don't know if you can do that. Maybe in the US. I don't know. Um, from, from our and copyrighted this is and trademark 2015. course. You have also two choices. You can delete the video and we will not counter and pursue an infringement claim against you and your channel will be restored. It goes on behind the scenes from KTVA, Ken Tamplin, his attorneys, and all of this sort of thing. And you guys can make your own decision on this. So now we're going back in time again. One month ago, he uploaded. Yeah, this is when he uploaded the, the <laughs> concert again with uh, Shout. Bad news the today. Shout I'm really sad. Oh. Somehow, mysteriously, YouTube must be working like really bad today or something because the live event of Ken Tampling lip sync in an entire concert got mysteriously deleted. It's not like he was writing comments under that video defending himself but pretending you know, it wasn't him and way. talking about no, him in the, the third way. person and left right 39 identical comments. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm actually just worried that such great live footage from the first row got deleted. <laughs> Funny guy. Hey guys, vocal. Here it is. The famous part here. His most famous uh, video. It's over. If you believe this stuff, it's gonna destroy your voice. The low parts of the verse are live. You stated that the proof is in the singing. Well, think about it this way. Would you go to a guitar teacher? that couldn't actually show you how to play something, but was just gonna tell you how to do it, then why in the world are people think that's a little crazy? No. Why my course? Maybe he just started lip syncing this last month, and then we discovered a live stream where he said he was singing live, but in fact, we proved he was lip syncing. Yeah, he actually streamed it. That's him, where crazy. he said he was singing live, but in fact, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. <laughs> Proof is in the lip syncing. Here we go. Wonder if anything is live here. I think it's pretty safe to establish at this point that Ken's vocal technique is not good enough for live singing. Don't you think with how quick he is to flex on you and tell you how all other vocal coaches are bad? They can wah 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 wah. Who is he fooling, you know? <laughs> Shaking the mic. Yeah! 
it does not work that way. Yeah! <laughs> and the guy in the audience. <laughs> And then Ken needs to do outdo that guy. Did you hear that? He has to have a pretty fragile ego. Uh, let's go. Disappointed that Mark didn't pick this up because this was so obvious. And if that doesn't convince you, he had that video deleted, then re-uploaded it to his channel by editing it out. And who edited this? Was it Ken or is it someone who works with Ken? Because he, he has to be pretty, you know, good with the technology if he's supposed to do that. Because he's not, um, you know, he's not 20, he's 60. He can, he can do it himself, but it's probably someone else. Please. I need to know who that person is. I need to know the guy behind Ken Templin. You might have caught there that his face and mouth did not uh, say those lyrics because those lyrics actually are from the original track of the song. You know The original video from the recent lip sync event uploaded by a random person who was in the first row was deleted after something really weird happened on the comments. I'm going to show you a screen recording that I took from that moment in case Ken deleted the video, which is exactly what happened. So Smart I'm guy. really done with the situation. I'm not gonna post anymore. But um, considering Ken might have this channel and all his videos deleted, uh, when the word gets out that it's himself writing them uh, like this right here. I just wanna prove essentially that it is him. Um, as you can see, for example, on this, he says, you must train. I covered this in my singing course. Um, so there we go. He is Ken Tampling. No one else would have access to this uh, footage anyway. I did go there, that part is true, and I noticed that he seemed a lot of stuff very different. <laughs> you know, even if it's not Ken, it has to be someone, someone around him who has this uh, account, so... <laughs> hey, how come your channel? You get the mm. point. Do you cheap out on the mixing engineer and he raised the volume of the mix too early there? Angry about this, honestly. Luckily, he's lost control of YouTube, which he used to, you know, take down every video that everyone posted criticizing him or anything. So I'm pretty happy to have found that now there is a Reddit community called Ken Tamplin Exposed. So, you know, so it's harder to censor real opinions and not, you know, what he wants you to listen. And I posted a video reviewing his vocal program after I purchased it myself. And Ken's lawyers emailed me and threatened to sue me. And oh, this was before then. Maybe he, he did uh, a comment. I think David com one of my videos as well. Gave my channel a bullshit copyright strike. I definitely feel that YouTube and the music community would be better off without him. I re it couldn't be that terrible of a deal if it wasn't for a fact that he's constantly promoting that the proof is in the singing and that you should never trust a vocal coach who can't do it live. But if they've never done it themselves, how could they possibly know what it feels like in their throat or in their chords or what it really means to sing yeah. night after night and understand what Yeah, night after night. You know, that's... This is the whole problem with this drama. This, this, it's all this boils down to that <laughs> he can't own up to what he says. That's just, that's the whole thing. Ken, if you're watching, this weren't, this shouldn't be anything if you just, um, yeah, it's like me saying that I track my drums on my keyboard when I do backing tracks live. No, <laughs> it takes. For me, it takes like um, two hours to do one song. I don't know with the with the drums. So, and I don't claim that I do it live. So, that's the whole point. Now, this is him singing, but the whole thing about his teaching method is to teach people how to sing live correctly and longer. If this guy can't do it himself, then that means that he is teaching people wrong methods of singing that will destroy their voice and end their career potentially. What? I don't give a shit who you are. If you are a self-proclaimed famous vocal teacher online that is taking people's money to teach them how to sing and you don't know how to do it yourself, you are a fucking hack. Here's why it is absolutely from. If you go to his how to sing better Only than- Only one 
49, I think. Ah, oh, this is this uh, monthly. Okay, it, I think it's different progress because I, I had a look here. I had a look here and then it said 199. But maybe he has changed that. No, here is it. 3.0 from one nine I don't know you know the subscription things <sighs> why you know because I thought it was fine the other one this one this is fine you know if if you want to buy it because then you have it I guess for the rest of your life it's not cheap but you know still you have it the other one you just have like a monthly payment and then I guess you don't have anything when you don't subscribe anymore track here uh, I'll fire it up and sing to it and just see how it goes here we go fraud becomes a crime when it is a knowing misrepresentation of the truth or concealment of a I wonder if uh, because I guess he has a couple of students and have had a couple of students over the years if someone is going to do that I don't think they will but maybe because as I've heard it's pretty expensive going in court in the US so because you need to pay for that yourself Maybe we can go our GoFundMe page or something. <laughs> the material fact I would, I would support it. another to act to his or her detriment. And then it's mine. So he's basically saying, here's, here's a red token, but it, you look at it and it's actually blue. And you go, wait a minute, you just said it was red. That's fraudulent. Referencing famous vocal coach Tristan Paredes, this Reddit user says, yeah, you could say karma got to him, but he was almost made homeless. Little games and taunts are not deserving of taking someone's house. My research shows that Tristan had exposed Ken for lip syncing back in the day, approximately eight years ago. Similarly to the other two testimonies, Tristan was allegedly bullied by Ken's lawyers into taking the videos down. To what this Reddit user says, I'm not saying he deserved it, but he definitely messed with the wrong person. And even though he's failing miserably, he's still trying to censor everything. This and you can clearly, clearly hear here that Sebastian Bach is not in his ah, you know where he is <laughs> and Ken is going you know full on and he's, he's flat too because we looked at this earlier, look at this a lot of, lot of effect on that voice right there I've watched that clip like 30 times Let's already. go. The then I think we are done, people. Well, thank you. Thank you. You don't need to. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh. And uh, I hope you have had a great stream. And uh, take care until next time. It's over.